A useful thing you can show in your navigation is what page the user is currently on. To do that, uh, what we have to do is go in and change the states of the, uh, of the menu. So currently my menu, because it's a sticky heading, is in a dynamic panel and a master. So I double click to go into the master. We're now in the, um, in the master itself. I've added links to all of these entries. Now if we just select all of them, I need to go right click. Uh, you can right click or you can go up the top here. That will make it easier to see. Arrange, create dynamic panel. So this is now a dynamic panel. Let's give it a name. We'll call it navigation dynamic panel, navigation DP. Okay, so what we want to do is change the different states. So I'll double click on that and we're now, you can see, navigation DP state one. So let's change this, shall we? I'm gonna select the home because this is going to be our home state. I'll go to style and let's change our, um, our fill to, let's choose something that isn't too revolting here. What about, uh, no, that's a bit bright. Hang on, let's fade that. Okay, so that's nice and subtle, that's 21%. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad there. And um, we might create a new style for that and just call that um, current page. Okay, terrific. So this gives us our state one. Let's do the drop down here. I'll just zoom in so you can see it more clearly. It's called state one, but I want to change that to home so that we know the state is when it's on the home page. Okay, so going back here now, we need to create a state for each of the pages. Um, so I'll add a state and I'll call this one, not bench, I'll call it beach, that would be a bit better. I uh, will add another one, which will be foreshore, add another one, which will be wildlife, Another one, which is, goodness, what are the different things? I've got restaurants and add another one, which will be recreation. Okay, so I've got my different states here. So what I need to do is, you see when I'm going through, that they're, they're currently empty. So I need to copy and paste this in there. So we'll just copy it. Go through to beach and paste it. We'll go through to foreshore and paste it. We'll go through to wildlife and paste it. Would have been easier if I hadn't have applied that style there in, in retrospect, but oh well, we're doing what we're doing. Okay, great. So now let's go to beach. In beach, we don't want the home page to be the current page, so we'll change that back to, was there a style? Yes, button, okay. So we change that back to button. In fact, I'll just go to each of the pages and do this. This is what I should have done uh, before I copied it um, because otherwise you have to do what I'm doing now which is go in and change the style back on every single one of them except for the home state. Okay, nearly done here. Okay, great. So let's go back to beach now. And what we want to do is we want to make that the active one. So scrolling down to, where are we? Goodness me, current page. So that's on beach. For sure, we do the same. We scroll down until we do apply the current page. Uh, on the wildlife page, we'll do the same. Restaurants, we'll add that to there. And lastly, our recreation page, we will change that there. Okay, so this sets it up. This creates different states for 
each of the, um, the navigations. Uh, now what we're going to do in the next video is I'm going to change what the header looks like depending on which page we are on. Thank you.